Hello, welcome back to class. So in this session, we want to be treating our nets. I want to show you the different types of nets that you could find. You could find more. There's so many nets in the market. But I want to show you the common ones that you're going to see in the market and then tell you the right one to use for your ball dresses. All right, so we have majorly, I always explain three types of nets. Okay, so we have the mesh, we have the bale net, and then we have the tool. Okay, so now this mesh is the regular nude net. It's very soft and light. It's, it's a bit stretchy. These are the type of nets that we use for our neckline designs, our sleeve designs, okay? We use it for them, but some people use it to make their ball dress. And then after a while, it is tearing or it's not giving you that full effect as you want it to be, okay? So this, this, this mesh, you shouldn't use it. Please don't use it. Don't use this net, oh, eh hey, I told you. So this is the regular net that you see in the market. We use it, we call it nude net. It's generally called nude net. There are different shades, okay? So if somebody comes to the market and say, Madam, don't worry, buy this one, this one will work. Now lie, you know, will work anything. All right, so that said, we go to the next net, all right? So this I call bale net. Now it's called bill. When we when we talk about bill, we understand what it means here in Nigeria. It, it means like um someone goes to probably Aba or China and then they buy them in bill, like in quantity, and then they tie them in bags and they bring them over. All right. So this was actually um I think part of the first net that I, I used. Okay, and the truth is that this net you can use it for ball dresses. Okay, you can use it for borders, but it is not my best. It is not my best. This net is, um, it's a bit, um, it's a bit, it's not as soft as, it's not as soft as the, um, the mesh. Okay, it's, it has like a bigger hole and then it has this edge happening around here. It's called the bail net. It's a bit stiff. But not so stiff. It's softer. Some people also use this for neckline designs and sleeve. It's you can also use it for your ball dresses. But this is not my best. This does not give me the body effect I want. Except I have to work with a lot of hard nets. Create a petticoat under to be able to make this to stand. So I used this for a while. It gave me beautiful results, but it wasn't as excellent as I wanted it. So this is the same thing. They have different shades, okay? You can get them in different colors. You can use them, but this is not my best. So I would not advise you to use it. You can use it, especially if um, especially if a parent tells you that, because there's some parents will tell you, I don't want it too full. I don't want it too full, okay? So if you have that parent that is saying, I don't want it, I just want something small simple but very beautiful you can use the bill net for that okay because there are some dresses that you don't really need it to be too big you just want the regular um, dress that children can wear and maybe go for parties or go to church or go for um, pro programs just something simple and casual that you can run around not very glamorous you can use the bill net this will not give you the very body effect all right so that said we'll go to my favorite as you can see them i have them so many <laughs> so this is my best and um this is this is a bit stiffer this is um lighter in weight this the bail net is thicker in weight that's why it can't stand on its own but you see this net the veil net is tool but in the market is known as veil net okay all right so this net is light it is very light but it is stronger than the remaining, the, the first two I showed you is stronger. So what happens is once you use this net and you use the technique that we're showing in the main course to cut your net, what happens is that even before you use your petticoat, of course, I'm going to be showing you how to create a petticoat in the main course. All right. So once you, without even the, without the petticoat, this will be standing already. This on its own, the tool. It is strong, but it is light. So that light effect and the, the hardness makes it rise and stand on its own without the petticoat. All right. But the petticoat gives it more volume. All right. So I want to believe that I've been able to um, help you clear, um, clear the problem of the right net to use. Remember, like I said, when you go to the market, they'll show you different. There are other types. 
of net in the market. There are some that are so hard, as in soft net, though, that are so hard. And then they come very rumpled and, you know, nets, ironing nets can be very, very hard. So I advise to go for the two. They come in bundles like this. Okay, so if you can't afford to buy a bundle like this, they sell in yardages. So it's easier for you to manage. Just tell them, okay, I need this so, so amount of um of of um of tool. Give me, and then we'll just roll it out and cut for you. All right. So for your for your nets, for your soft nets, you have to create a ball dress that comes out good, at least for kids between um for kids between um one year to so three years advice you use if it's a long ball dress and you want it really full very very full for kids between one to three years advice you use 10 yards okay but if you want it moderate moderate you can use five yards okay the least you can ever use for any ball dress especially for kids from one year to five years the least you should use is 10 yards it shouldn't be less than 10 yards in my main course, I'll be showing you the techniques to use to cut them to be able to achieve the results that you need. All right. So, but for for kids from six years and above, I'll advise you use fifteen yards of tool, of tool, not bail net, not mesh. Okay, of tool. So from six years and above, I advise you use fifteen. You could increase. The yardages depending on the volume of or how large or how full you want your dresses to be. So you're not limited, but you shouldn't go below 10 yards. So 10 yards of your tool is the minimal you should use. I hope I've been able to solve this problem for you. All right. See you in the next session.